I guess there's no reason to ask why anyone would schedule Gershwin on a concert, an all-Gershwin concert. I've asked several artists, some of them not even Americans over the years, and, and when I ask them, why, why do you do Gershwin, they shrug and say, it's great music, and it really is, isn't it? Absolutely. That's, that's actually a, a great question because um, I've had the same experience. Um, I usually do not program concerts that have one composer, but Gershwin, I think, is, in my mind, um, the one composer that you can program, and people will come to the concert, they'll buy tickets, they don't even ask what's on the program because they know that they'll love the music. Um, you know, he was a, a cross between um, lighter, popular music, jazz, if you will, and, and classical music. And he hits a, a chord, <laughs> if you will, uh, with everybody. It's it's not music that, that um, people don't understand, but it's sophisticated. Yeah. And um, it's it's got great melodies. The lyrics, of course, by his brother Ira Gershwin, um, are fascinating. They're, they're whimsical. They're uh, just fantastic. And our orchestra is really suited for, for this repertoire. We're very excited to be playing the original version of uh, Rhapsody in Blue, and we have wonderful soloists on the concert as well. Ah, yes. Uh, Jeffrey Beagle will be performing the uh, Rhapsody in Blue, and I, I love that you're doing the original Paul Whiten, Whiteman band version because it's it's got much more... Uh, What's the word I want? Astringency or sparkle to it than some of the big overblown versions. It does, and we're also really adhering to the uh, the tempos that uh, Gershwin asked for, and so they they might seem a little bit faster mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. because I, I think it was later on that people took the score and made it very schmaltzy and very dramatic, and that's not really what this piece is. I mean, it's a it's a band piece and a, a, a small combo band piece, and it's supposed to be played with a you know. A, a bunch of guys getting together and playing this this, this great popular music, and uh, later on it became you know the Grofet version is very um, dramatic with the full everybody you know full orchestra, and and so so we're we're sort of excited. I mean we've actually both performed this version with different orchestras and and not together and. Jeffrey's an old friend of mine, and I am really excited to be performing with him. He's also going to be uh, playing the finale of the F major concerto, which is fantastic and exciting. And a lot of people might not, as they're listening to this program today, might not say, you know, uh, remember or know that piece. But once they hear it, I think they'll be very familiar with it. Yeah, it's it's Gershwin, but it's Gershwin with an eye toward the concert hall. And that reminds me of a quote by Leonard Bernstein. I, I never forgot it. He said, one of the great tragedies of losing Gershwin at such an early age is that he was just getting a hold of the larger forms. And, and it's just it's staggering what he could have done had he lived longer. Yes, I feel that way. Of course, Mozart and Gershwin are the two that I feel that way the most. They died so young. And Gershwin, I, I do believe, I mean, with... Um, the, the operas that he was writing um, and the more serious music was was really on the verge of, of doing some, some you know, well, uh, we know that. We know that mm. he would have done remarkable, huge pieces as well um, that we would still be playing today. So yeah. that that is something that, that I've thought about very often as well. And yet uh, many of his miniatures, many of his songs are, are such... Uh, perfect pieces of art. Uh, we couldn't live without those either. You're going to do some of those, and you have a fine singer joining We you. do. We're, we're really excited to be um, being joined um, by uh, Jocelyn Oldman. Uh, she'll, be, she'll be joining the orchestra, and she, she's in a group called Me and Joe, and a lot of people know her in the area, and um, she's a guitar player and a singer, and she's a local girl, lives in Williamsburg, but um, we've heard her and we asked her to join us because we thought her voice would be very suited to this. So while this is sort of a new venue and a new um, experience for her, I think she's going to have a, a wonderful time. We uh, got together on the phone <laughs> yesterday and went through all the music, Good. and I think she has a fabulous voice. And the the songs that we've chosen as you said, are all gems on their own. If you take the, the song Someone to Watch Over Me, that's a song that, that has been sung by countless uh, performers and is heard you know, all over the place. Um, but we're also using um, very um, early renditions. We're trying to find all of the exact, um, oh, you good, know, good. yeah, so that'll yeah. be really great. Yeah. And if they are arrangements, we know that they're very similar to what Gershwin mm -hmm. either w wrote or would have liked. Yeah. 
So um, we're excited about that as well. And the the range of these songs is just remarkable. Some of them very, very romantic, almost impressionistic. Some of them just wonderful, up-tempo, syncopated pieces. It's, exactly. It's amazing. Well, you know, when when I pro, I, I actually what I did was I programmed them, and I mm-hmm. I listened to all of these songs. I got some CDs, and I was on the internet, and I was and I know, of course, a lot of this music. But I I thought, well, let me let me listen to all uh, songs maybe I don't know, but I found basically we're doing six pieces. Um, one is is sort of a, a medley, but I found. I went back to the songs that I've known my whole life, and there's a reason why I've known them my whole life, and it's because they're they're the greatest songs that he wrote. The Man I Love, well, that that is just such a fantastic song, and as you said, very dramatic, and um, you know, a, a little deeper than something like It's Wonderful. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> but so, yeah. and, and and the other thing that I did was I I was looking for real contrast, not only in tempo, fast and slow, <laughs> but also serious and and whimsical and fun. All right. Well, that's that's a good way to sum up the concert. Serious, whimsical, fun, great music by one of America's great composers. And I know the folks in the orchestra and your guests are going to just have a grand time of it. Well, one thing that I would also like to add is that we are thrilled to be part of Occasion, for, uh, occasion of the Arts. Yes. This is, for us, a, a wonderful event in the community. And to be part of the kickoff of this event for us, is is something that, um, you know, we're honored to be uh, sharing the weekend uh, with this great organization. So we really want to thank all the folks that, that have included the Symphonia.